Hey kids, I know it's been some time. Um, I had to do this weird thing where I just had to go and be an adult and pay bills and just take care of things and not even sleep or nap in between. Adulting, it doesn't stop. It just keeps growing. It's like as soon as you clear level 10, it just wants you to hop on to the next level with like no break, no rest, no pause. Um, student loan forgiveness, I thought that was gonna happen because you know, I'm the voucher, okay? I am the Lorax, I speak for the trees. Trees including money, my money, and everybody else's money. And then they said, we're in limbo, actually deliberation. But I don't have that much for you guys today. Uh, this is a little segment of where I say it's a podcast, but it's not really an actual podcast because everyone, and I mean everyone, has one. And <laughs> I am traumatized when I see like somebody talking to a mic because I don't know if you're going to say something useful or if you're going to go into a whole dissertation as to why you think it's crazy uh, for women to like go out and like get a job or the reason why men uh, shouldn't have to pay for dates or you know you going into a conspiracy about the earth. I don't know, you guys are like really scaring me. So in my mind, I'm gonna be honest with you, in my mind, I think the internet has replaced reality. I don't think we're living in the matrix anymore. I don't even think we're living in a parallel universe. I really feel like we're living in a black hole. I think we're just embossed by this vortex that has essentially sucked the earth and then the internet just kind of placed it and then was like, boop, you know, and then like Elon Musk, done bought Twitter. <laughs> so it's about to be real scary out in these streets because he's saying you gotta pay $8 a month to be a verified uh, blue check on Twitter. The timeline where quite literally nothing is off grounds. Um, and if I see any of you, to be honest with you, paying $8 a month for a blue check that you could Photoshop, to be honest, y'all not in living in the recession you have nothing to worry about that means you got extra money to spare i remember when i was a kid like the internet used to be this foreign thing that no one knew about okay i remember i had dial up and i would always go on the internet and it was very simple okay i would just go and find my disney channel games all right sandwich maker the best game out there and i don't want y'all to hear no i don't want to hear none of that oh well it was sweet life no that sandwich stacker from Lilo and Stitch, that pulled me through. That's what made me the beautiful human that I am today, all right? So thank you. Now you have 10 year olds who have an iPad out here either making YouTube videos, watching YouTube videos, doing a TikTok, uh, or like just, I don't know, being on Instagram Live, on Reels, you know, just like really, really with the functions and can't even do their homework. So, but the main things that I really want to talk about with the internet is uh, memes, messiness, and menaces. So the internet kind of started out with memes, okay? I remember we had uh, Pepe the Frog, is that? I'm gonna correct myself on the screen. I'm not even gonna catch myself slipping like that. Uh, we had Vine, we had, you know, all these like wholesome little videos, wholesome little pictures you know, that we're like starting out as the community, really kind of making the kids laugh, doing the inside jokes, a hee hee ha ha. And now when I look at memes, it's like, I don't even know what I'm looking at. And I'm scared to even like go into what this means because it's like memes have turned into dark humor and like a personality. It's almost like, like y'all can't go outside and talk to people or even like use constructive criticism for other basic things without using a picture of a, a picture that's photoshopped into another picture that's horribly done, um, it's sad. I don't think you're old enough for a meme. I, I see five-year-olds sh showing me memes, quoting memes, and I'm like, aren't you supposed to be watching like, Yo Gabba Gabba? Does Yo what? Gabba Gabba even come on? Here's the thing that's really concerning me, right? Is the fact that y'all are just really out here being messy. And I mean messy in the sense of oversharing. I don't think I've ever known so many strangers in their business like I have known in the past two to three years. How do y'all don't even need to make a Tinder 
profile. You don't need to go on Facebook dating because you already gave me the diary of your life uh, on Twitter or you already showed me everything from like your childhood trauma all the way up to why you think you're so special and neurodivergent in your Instagram story or your TikTok. It's, I'm bothered. I feel like this was like an unexpected friendship. This was forced upon, it didn't have my consent. Some of y'all have overshared so much, that's why the IRS has done got you. Or the fact that the police has come knocking at your door cause you, cause you done committed a crime or have several felonies and you thought it was a flex. <laughs> crazy. Go outside and go hang with y'all real friends. Do y'all even have real friends? You got people on the timeline, they are proud to be a terrible friend. They are proud of being a terrible person. And then you wonder why you're lonely. And then, then you just expose your whole life to me. And then it's like, now what are we supposed to do? Like, no one's still gonna not like you after this. Like, it doesn't, the math don't math. So like, menaces on the timeline. Uh, people who are menaces on the timeline are like the mean girls who are in high school that are nurses now, and then they like brag about how terrible they are on their jobs on TikTok. It's the same thing. Like menaces on the timeline are the kids that had the insecurities and you showed out and no one liked you, so then you became a bully on the internet. Cause you knew if you became a bully in real life, somebody was gonna beat you up. It, 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 it gotta stop. Every single day, I just want y'all to be free from the shackles of gender wars and talking about things that are like, done happen like two, three years ago that you wanna bring up again. Um, I'm also sick of y'all reusing, okay? The same quotes, the same tweets, the same stories, and then you paste it into like it happened into your real life. Like, like what are we doing? On whatever app, it's always somebody trying to do something because you can't be somebody in real life. <laughs> it's a lot of internal issues that are just displaying on my screen. And um, it, it, it quite literally is like mental illness. Like I feel like you guys are making clout. Clout is the disease. Some of y'all are just really kind of boosting your life or fake boosting it so you can feel something because y'all are dead inside. <laughs> I mean that wholeheartedly. People who are unemployed and have just nothing but time on their hands are the main of the timeline terrorists. That is the definition of a timeline terrorist. If you go on the internet every single day and you just, you just, you just don't be doing nothing. That is your job, which is why you don't have a job. <laughs> like old girl who done said that, you know, men eating desserts is gay. Cause that's a female thing. I will never let that go. I I will never let that go because who and why? Like, you guys don't have anything else going in your life. This is it. There has been so much that has been going on in the past two, three weeks. Uh, Kanye is being shadow banned from the earth. Kyrie is being instigated and banned from the NBA. Uh, Elon Musk done bought Twitter and everybody's running for the hills. Um, Tumblr brought back the sexy side, which who girl? Tumblr, if you thought, if you thought that the internet was already accessible, woo, y'all haven't seen nothing yet. Um, it's time to put back the age restrictions on the apps too. Cause I mean, like I'd be waking up eight o'clock in the morning and the things I'd be seeing, I gotta go back and pray again. Ask, you know, God, I, it wasn't even me, Lord. It, it just was there. <laughs> That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I don't got no ending for you because I'm tired. <laughs> or maybe, you know, I, I, I'm at the point where it's like, it's either I just keep on, keep on, or, or we might have to go slang in the streets. <laughs> but I wear glasses. And who's gonna take somebody who wears glasses seriously? Like, I'm your neighborhood friendly dealer? Like, you're not, you're gonna punk me. You're gonna steal my product away from me and then shame me for like <laughs> trying to go be an entrepreneur in the streets. That's what's gonna happen. That's what I have. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Whenever that is, soon, but not too soon, but soon. Yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one.